Here's another culture moment. Remember we've been talking about nine behaviors that are really unsupportive habits in working globally? Here's another one, ignorance. Oh, wait a second, he called me ignorant. No, nobody calls you ignorant because that would be an insult. And insults rarely work no matter where you do business around the world. Insults do not help you build trust and connection with others. Now think of ignorance as the opposite of competence. And that's what I would like to drive home with this culture moment. Competence is more than just knowledge. Knowledge is memorizing and, and, and internalizing the do's and the don'ts of working with another culture. And if you're watching this and you are a global professional, which it's probably safe to assume that, then I would suspect that most of you have read the book or has seen a presentation or sat through a training on how to do business with the blank, blank, blank. So you know how to do business with the Chinese, with the Canadians, with the Brazilians, with the Germans, whoever. You learned some do's and don'ts. You learned about behavioral defaults and maybe you increased, or I would hope you increased your level of knowledge about the other culture. Great, double thumbs up, appreciate that. Now, knowledge without application will still leave you inefficient and knowledge without remaining a level of curiosity to fill in more of your knowledge blanks, to learn how these do's and don'ts apply in real life. So without knowledge without that curiosity will most likely only cement the biases you already hold of that other culture. And here's the real kicker, knowledge without the humility of recognizing that your knowledge is limited will lead people most likely to see you as a bit of arrogant, right? Oh yeah, I know about you. So I've read the book about how to do business with you. Yes, but without the humility to admitting that all this knowledge that you've accumulated doesn't necessarily translate into a behavioral shift, um, isn't gonna help. So cultural competence is more than knowing the do's and don'ts, it is a, a, a lifelong desire and curiosity to understand the why of those behaviors, the whys of the do's and the don'ts. See the do's and don'ts as the proverbial tip of the iceberg above the water surface and see that big bulk under the ice, uh, under the water surface, the big part of the iceberg as the why. Without the whys, the do's and don'ts are only memorized knowledge. They're not competence, they're not applied knowledge. So get somebody, get a workout buddy, get a trainer, get a cultural mentor, be it in your organization or externally, get somebody to work you through those drills and help you learn how to apply your knowledge to become culturally competent. Do that and we'll talk again. Okay.